Morning, YouTube. Um, <clears throat> so today is November 20th, and uh, that means it is the 20th day for my um, 30 videos in 30 days project for the month of November. Um, it's Transgender Awareness Month, so um, this is my own little personal project. Uh, I'm using questions from the 30 Day Trans Challenge that I found um, uh, through Paige Bendroth. Um, and it's posted by, the, the copy I'm using is posted by The Miserable Muse on um, DeviantArt. Sorry, the puppy just came and laid at my feet. Um, so today's question, oh, I also have to mention today is um, Transgender Day of Remembrance, where we uh, reflect on the last year and um, remember those of us who were killed um, through violence um, for other people's, I don't know, for the satisfaction of other people's transphobia and hate. Um, it's not really our happy holiday. Um, so I will try to have another video today uh, where I read the names. Um, as I tried to do every year, I missed one year. I'd like to not miss this one. Um, so today's question is, um, do you want to be a parent? Why or why not? And And actually... It's kind of ironic that it's today because my older daughter turns 12 today. It's actually her birthday, um, which is why I don't usually do any um, outside of the house participation for um, Day of Remembrance um, in favor of, you know, seeing her on her birthday or doing stuff with her on her birthday. Um, I don't know. It got really bright here all of a sudden. Um, anyway... Anyway, obviously I wanted to be a parent. Um, I uh, became a dad in, well, 2001, obviously. I was, um, I had just turned 23 not long before, um, and then um, became a dad again when I was 25. Um, and I wouldn't, I mean, I would never make a different choice. I, both of the kids were um, planned and wanted and um you know they are amazing children they just they're amazing people they're funny uh they're both very intelligent and um you know we're my ex and i are, are lucky to have been able to provide um some opportunities for them that uh you know certainly that i didn't have um growing up um you know what? They're they're just turning into awesome people. They're very compassionate and caring and loving, and you know they're sisters, so they fight from time to time. But um, you know they'll go from saying the thing that makes her sister cry and angry to playing together, doing something, and laughing. You know, just the next minute. And um, you know they're geeky and they're happy and. You know, I don't know. I I got very very lucky, and um, you know, as a trans person, I I didn't really have a good handle on what it meant for me to be trans when I was that young, um, so that really didn't enter into the decision making process. Um, I don't know. I don't know how I would approach the decision-making process today, um, or, you know, with the knowledge that I have today, um, I don't think I would have made any different choice. I, I always wanted to be a parent, and I always wanted to be um, a parent when I was young. Um, my parents were young when I was born. My mom was 18, my dad was 21, um, you know, and my mom died when I was really young. She died, you know, she was only 22. Um, so I always felt the sense of urgency about, um, you know, having kids early, um, so I could have as much time as possible with them before anything happened or, you know, um, before, you know, I, I grew old and passed or whatever, but, um, you know, I, uh, I'm really blessed. Um, my 
trans identity hasn't really become an issue or has never been an issue really in um, parenting my kids. Um, you know, they, they've had their struggles as their, like the thing was with kids, like they become people and they become adult, you know, as, as they start heading down the path toward becoming adults, the size of their world constantly expands and their understanding stretches to fill that space. So I initially came out to my kids when they were seven and five, um, and their frame of reference for understanding that was, you know, at a particular level, and I gave them the information that they could handle, and that was it. And then uh, when my older girl became uh, turned 10, a little after she turned 10, um, her understanding grew, and, um, you know, she knew that I was different from other dads, and, um... She had to go through an acceptance process again, you know, understanding that this is a normal part of human expression, but it's it's something that her other her other friends don't have to deal with. Um, and she's gotten through that, you know. I mean, we're um, in a really good place as far as that stuff is concerned. But I fully expect that when she's 16, 15, 18, that um, you know she's going to have a little more struggle too. Uh, you know, at some point she's going to want to bring partners home and, um, you know, she'll be in school with other people. So like information gets out, you know, um, and that's, that's bridges we'll have to cross when we get there. Um, and I don't just mean her, I mean, you know, her sister as well. Um, it's part, it's been part of my younger daughter's normal for longer. So she just turned 10 this year. Um, she's having her own struggles, you know, with that expanding world and expanding understanding. Um, but they're not centered as far as I know, they're not centered around me and my gender. Um, just because, you know, half of her life, this is something she's been, um, exposed to, you know, knowledge that she's had. Um, I think things in the U.S., you know, that's my, that's the, the culture I can speak to, to speak toward. Um, I think the culture in the U.S. is, is getting better for trans parents. Um, I did just read an article yesterday that someone linked, um, and I can't find it. Um, stop it. Hey. Um. Sorry, I just read an article yesterday about uh, a family that was torn apart. They have two young children, um, and uh, the father is a trans man, and the couple had been married for years, and when they decided to have children, they told the wife's parents um, about, um, about him being trans. Uh, so that they had a, an understanding of why they were seeking, you know, donated sperm. Um, apparently the parents freaked out. And up to that point, they had accepted him, you know, uh, into their family completely. And then all of a sudden they started throwing around, you know, trans slurs and um, making really demeaning comments and just all around being not cool. So, um, since they refused to stop when they were asked to, um, the couple, excuse me, the couple cut off contact with her parents, um, and the parents sued for custody of the children, and the judge granted it solely because the father was transgender, and, um, uh, you know, the DCFS had never been called to the house, and, um, you know, there was never any reason for the children to be removed from the home, um, at least per the reports that I've seen. And uh, I, I don't know what the particular status of it is right now. Um, I have every confidence that... I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, I have every confidence that, um, you know, the, the children will be returned to the home, assuming that it's, it's the safe home that I've been led to believe. Um, 
because there is a lot more legal recognition these days of you know trans people as actual human people um, capable of you know loving and providing safe homes and um, you know not in any way um, you know, like not in, not an unsafe environment just because one of the, the adults is trans. Um, thankfully, uh, that's not something I've had to deal with personally. I, I don't know what it would do to me to lose my kids like that, um, and my heart goes out to that family. Um, but yeah, so obviously I want kids, and um, I'm I'm really lucky to have the ones that I have. Um, for all of those prospective parents out there, um, the uh, best parenting advice I can give, uh, and of course it's unsolicited because all parenting advice really is unsolicited, um, but I try to follow the a uh, ABCD of parenting, which is attention and affection, um, boundaries, consistency, and discipline. Um, and as long as you're providing all of those things, uh, I think kids tend to turn out pretty okay. Um, you know, and of course, a lot of love. Make sure the kid knows that they're loved, and that's that's um, the the best thing that you can do for any child is just know that they're is for them to just know that they're valuable and valued and loved. Um, doesn't solve all the problems, but pretty important. Okay, uh, I'm going to sign off here because I, I do have to do another video. Um, for that one, I'm going to not be wearing my pajamas and um, my woke up, just woke up face. Um, but uh, feel free to leave me messages up here, comments down below. Find me on Tumblr, brainconvenient.tumblr.com. Uh, also at Twitter, at brainconvenient. Um, and uh, the bygender.net forums, which is bygender.net slash forum. Okay. Um, until later, love to you all.